Hey, what's going on, everybody? As you can tell, this is our 2023 top five senior softball bats one piece version, guys. We're only going to list our top five one piece bats in this video. We'll eventually do the two piece, but we're going to start out here with the one piece, guys. This is what the ones that me and Chad, all the bats that me and Chad have swung this year, me and him are going to, um, we kind of put our, um, our thoughts together on which ones we thought were the best. Guys, there is no one through five. It's just a generalization of top five bats, guys. That's, and you can text us and message us and say, hey, which one is your favorite? We'll tell you the same thing it's just our top five guys so guys let's get started hope you enjoy the video okay guys first up we have the anonymous inception in apex load so apex load basically means this is their full one ounce in load um, these come with a 13 inch barrel and guys you can order these in sizes of 25 ounces all the way up to 28 and these, the newer ones, this one didn't have it, but the newer ones have the SRT grip or the, the tacky barrel grip, which is supposed to help you spin or cut the ball. And they do make a balanced version of this, which we, we swung, which had the sticky grip. So the sticky grip does really help with spinning or cutting the ball, especially if you're a cutter and you swing down on the ball. But um, the end load on these guys, it was like 16.5 on the end, 8.3 uh, on the hands. Actually, a really good end load. It feels like a true one ounce end load. And guys, this thing tested at like 225 in the wrapper, and it dropped down to like 207, 205 uh, after we put about 120, 130 swings on it. And guys, I really, really like this bat. I like how you can swing hard with this thing. You don't have to worry about flex, and you can swing out of your shoes, and you're not, you know, you don't feel like you're getting held back by the flex in the handle. Um, durability wise this thing really held up but it's not the super soft barrel you guys like and you're going to have to put some swings on this thing but this is one of our favorite bats man and i kept swinging this bat a lot well after um we did the review which a lot of times i don't get a chance to do but i put some more swings on this and i kept comparing it to other bats and this bat really stands out guys this is one of my favorite ones and chad really liked it too but uh guys this is the anonymous inception apex load and i believe they have a different one it's like uh i think it's called the villain i believe it's got like a half ounce in load and um but but yeah man we really like this bat so there you go the anonymous anonymous inception guys Okay, up next, guys, we got the Shore Porch Brandon Murray. This is their uh, team, like the team player bat, but this is the Brandon Murray uh, signature bat. So this is the second one that they came out with. And this featured a 13-inch barrel. You could order these in sizes of 25 ounces all the way to 28. And these these came with a half ounce end load. Now we tested this bat here. It started out like a 240 in the tester, and guys, we dropped it in about 140, 150 swings. We got it down to about 200, 207 in the um on, on the uh, on the tester after we got done swinging. And um, as far as the scale weight on this, guys, um, came in around like 16 on the end, 8.1 on the hands. So this was a 25-ounce bat. So it didn't have it didn't have that big, bigger end load. But we, um, I went with a 25-ounce end load because I'm battling like a little bit of a knee injury. So I wanted something a little bit lighter so I could kind of use more of my upper body and just kind of like a, kind of more of a weight shift swing. And I felt like I could really, but it still had enough butt to control this bat. But man, this thing has a ton of pop. It takes a little bit longer to break in than say a wig popper. It's not as soft or game ready as a wig popper is, but um, it's got an, in the, in the end load on this feels like a heavy half ounce end load. Feels a little bit, feels uh, maybe either more traditional or maybe just a little bit heavier because if you go compare it to like your Mike and Worth bats, man, they run light because they put so much counterweight in the hands. But man, we really like this bat. It's got a little bit of a stiffer barrel, but don't let that scare you. But it's got a lot of pop. It's got a crisper feel. I know when, um, when we got done and we left out of the field, Chad was like trying to hit short porch up because he was trying to get himself one because he really thought, he thought really thought high of this bat but we really like this one guys this is the short porch brandon murray signature bat Okay, guys, for the next bat, we got the Easton Empire Mario Foster, which is a mother load. Mother load basically means it's a full one ounce in load. Guys, you could order these in sizes of 26 ounces all the way to 28. And this is our 13 inch barrel. And guys, it had a big sweet spot for our 13 inch barrel. Now, when we first tested this bat, when we first got it, it was like 220 in the wrapper. And um, we put only put 120 to 130 swings on it, and it dropped down to 160 compression. So this thing broke down, dropped down super fast. The barrel, 
compression was just it was just, it just was a really softer barrel it broke in super fast but it did start out kind of low come say compared to other bats now as far as when we scale this bat this is supposed to be a one ounce inload and we're swinging a 27 ounce here in the video and i believe it came in at like 16 7 on the end eight nine on the hands honestly felt kind of like a light half uh light uh, full one ounce so maybe even close to more of a three quarter ounce in load guys but it did have enough butt to really drive the ball especially it's with a longer barrel it makes it feel a little bit more barrel heavy but this thing had a huge sweet spot the entire barrel was a sweet spot and this thing breaks in super fast Jack, chad really liked this bat this is one of chad's favorites but um like i said i know people try to say this is a softer barrel but basically it's not, it's not so much as a softer barrel, it just breaks down so much faster. So when the compression's lower on a bat, guys, it's gonna make the barrel feel softer. So that's basically how this feels. But these break in, like I said, super fast. And this is the Easton Empire Mario Foster, guys. I hope you can find one of these things because these are very popular bat right now. Okay, guys, up next, we have the Proton Neon Series 2 bat real quick. These they come in sizes of 25, 26, and 27. Um, you can get these in a balanced, a half ounce, or a full one ounce inload, so you can pick your loads on these. And, guys, these are a 12 and 3 quarter inch barrel, and they have the nano tech on these. So it has like a spin tech on this where you can kind of cut or spin the ball. So it feels like a rubber textured out on the outside of the barrel. Now this one start, we, we had two of these and we put about approximately 200 swings on each one. Um, started out around 220 on compression, dropped down to like the 180, 185 range. So, and it kind of stayed there, kind of hung around that range after we got some swings on it. And I, we've hit these a, um, a couple times before. Um, and we felt like, this thing had a big sweet spot the ball jumps off the barrel but they do swing a little bit light whereas this is a 26 ounce we're swinging so it scaled in at 16 ounces and came in like eight nine on the hand so basically these feel uh feel like a really light half ounce in load so maybe you may if you want some more butt to your back go up to the full one ounce um on the load when you order it or maybe just kind of go up a size now these did have a touch of flex in the handles but man we really like this bat we really liked how big the the sweet spot was really big on this thing we felt like even though it was like a lighter bat with not much butt we could still drive the ball and the ball just jumped off this barrel and the spin tech really did help i know they got away from the spin tech because um from what Charles was telling me, that it basically felt like uh, the barrel was better without the spin tech. It was helping them out. It was it was just helping a little bit. Uh, it, it was like the ball, the barrel was just a little bit. It was a hotter barrel without the spin tech. But um, yeah, like I said, a little bit of a touch of a touch of flex in the handle, but not enough to like really affect anything. But man, we really like the Proton Series Tech. I mean, uh, Series Two uh, bat with a just big sweet spot ball jumps off the barrel man we just really like it we probably would have went up a ounce on the end load but uh great bat guys Okay, guys, and with our next bat, we have the Dudley Team Mastery. These came with a 12-inch barrel. You could order these in sizes of 25.5, 26.5, and 27.5. These also were a half-ounce end load and came with the sticky, tacky barrel, which is meant for spinning or cutting the ball. Um, guys, we tested this thing brand new in the wrapper. It tested right around like 230. Um, dropped down compression. We got, what, 170 swings on this thing, and it dropped down to about 175. And it kind of seemed like it held compression a little bit. And then we... uh. As far as the end load or the end weight on this thing, it started out at like us. The end load was like 17.2. It was like 8.6 on the hand. So it had a really good heavy half ounce end load. It was a little bit def definitely a little bit more heavier than um, your typical half ounce end loads. And guys, the sticky tack on this barrel did help spin or cut the ball, we felt like. And guys, the barrel, the ball jumped off this barrel. I mean, when you first got it, uh, first 15 swings, it took a little bit to kind of get used to. It. And the sound changed about 20 swings into it. But man, the ball jumped off this thing. I think Chad hit the furthest ball he's ever hit with this bat. And we just had an absolute blast hitting this thing. Now, we did um, hit this quite a bit, actually. And um, I constantly kept comparing this bat to other bats and stuff. And it did soften. The barrel did soften up a little bit when it got down to like 175 compression. And I felt like this is... 
you could swing this bat for all uh, uh bat speeds um for guys that have the lower bat speed or the higher bat speeds but this this man i i just tell you what now you could not go wrong with this bat um not hardly any flex in the handle because you could swing this thing. It's, you you could swing out of your shoes with this bat and you didn't have to worry about flex or, you know, you didn't have to feel like how, the bat had to do. You could do all the work, but I mean, the when you did though, it just rewarded you how hard the ball just jumps off this barrel. I mean, this thing was an absolute blast. You did hit. Now we did hit some of the other Dudley bats that were like, we felt like we we're the same with this, but, um, this is the one we preferred, actually, um, over the party time or the Bobby Knife on. But, man, this was a outstanding bat, guys. You could, um, you just need to take – I know there's still some of these out there, so you could pick yourself one up if you want to. But that is the Dudley Team Mastery, guys. Okay, guys, last but not least, we have the short porch wig popper, the balanced version. Yep, we went with the balanced one. And yes, I said top five, but this is, we're going with six. It's my channel. I'll do what I want. But hey, 12 inch barrel, got sizes of 25 ounces all the way up to 28. And this is game ready technology. So, guys, you're supposed to be able to pull the wrapper off and go to the field with these things. Now, we tested this thing. It was tested out at right around 240. So, I would say you'd have to put a few swings on this before you go out to the field, but not a ton, guys, because it was. We put, uh, man, I want to say we put 150, 160 swings on this thing, and it dropped down to like 173. Uh, so it, it got soft quick. It, it broke down compression fast. And, um, guys, it scaled in at like 16 even uh, on the end and 9 on the hand. So, guys, honestly, it felt a little bit more heavier than your traditional balance weight, but I really, really like this bat. You wouldn't believe that it was a 12-inch barrel. You would have thought it was a 14-inch barrel as big as the sweet spot was. I mean, the ball jumps off this thing, and it feels really good. If you're looking for the softer barrel, this is probably the way you want to go. Um, we've actually hit the great inloaded one. That, vi that video will be coming out soon, but we preferred this balance one for some reason. We actually liked it a little bit more. This does have a touch of flex in it. But you didn't feel the flex as much because you didn't have so much inload on the bat. So we felt like it could just easily drive the ball with this. We felt like it had a huge sweet spot. Considering it was a 12-inch barrel, you never got feedback from being a one-piece bat. And, man, this, the ball just jumped off this thing. Me and Chad really like this bat, guys. And this is the short porch balanced wig popper, guys. And like I said, it, it just... It, the ball just jumps off this thing, man. We had an absolute blast. And you could hit this ball. You could, like, it's not so heavy that you can't manipulate the bat like a true traditional balance bat. Because sometimes a balance bat, some people, man, they just load them a little bit too light on the end and put way too much hand weight in them. And you can't, it's like, it's like you're way out in front where you could still stay back with this bat and then you can still manipulate the bat enough to go go where you, the holes you want it, if you want to go gap to gap. And, in, and there's no reason that you couldn't blow the ball out of the park with this if you're a home run hitter. But guys, this is the short porch balance wig popper. Okay, guys, that's it. That's our top five 2023 senior softball one-piece bats this year that me and Chad have swung, guys. That's the ones that me and Chad thought were our top five, or should I say top six. But, guys, that's the ones we like. That's the ones we swung this year, and that's the ones we chose out of all the ones that we swung. Now, we couldn't pick everything, and there's some bats that we didn't get a chance to swing, and there was bats that we just chose not to swing, guys. But, hey, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, hit me up down in comments. You can hit me up on Instagram or uh, Facebook. Guys, I'm going to have a link to every one of these bats I can with all the discount codes if I have them. There's some that I don't have. and But every product that we ever use, guys, I'll try to put a link down below and get you guys a discount on anything, any down, anywhere from batting gloves to, you know, the bats, whatever. And, guys, and I'll also have my uh, link for hats down there, guys. So, guys, I guess that's it. Until next time, keep hitting it. And, hey, have a good day. <laughs>